Hello YouTube, welcome to Flipping Goods, presented by Power Up Res. I am your host, David Torres, also known as Rez. Now if you watched my first video, I was mostly talking about selling on eBay, and how I fared so far, as well as the limitations that eBay puts on new sellers, and what you have to do in order to get those limitations removed. Now, I did promise also that I was going to do another video for Amazon and this is that video. Now when you first create an account or a seller account on Amazon uh, you're faced with a choice. Are you going to make a professional account or an individual account? Well you may wonder which is better for you, the professional or the individual? Well here's what you get with a professional account. You have a monthly fee of $39.99 that you pay instead of a per item fee that sells. Also you get access to uh, many spreadsheets and different reports. And you can do multiple listings through those spreadsheets. Now what about an individual account? Well, Instead of having a monthly fee, you have a $0.99 cent fee for every item that's sold that month. Also you get uh, to create listings but only one at a time and you do get access to different tools in the seller central such as listing management order management and several others as well now when I first created my uh, seller account on Amazon I created a professional account but after uh, about three months uh, so see I first created my account in January of 2017 around the same time I created my sell, uh, eBay selling account. I ended in March with my professional account and downgraded to an individual. Basically because I was paying $40 a month and I was only banking about $15 every month. So just by canceling the, uh, the, the professional account and going to an individual account, I started making uh, more profit. Now, of course, as soon as it makes perfect sense to go back to a professional account, that is my plan. All right, so now this is what I'm going to do is talk about uh, different uh, likes and dislikes that I have in selling on Amazon. Now, I'm going to start first with the likes. So Amazon has upfront fees, meaning when your item sells, Amazon goes ahead and takes their cut right off the top and then they take the money that uh, is now yours and they put it into like a little kind of like a little bank that Amazon's holding for your account that they'll pay out to you every two weeks to wherever you designate the payments to go to. I like this so much better than how eBay does it. Uh, eBay they keep a record of what your fees are going to be and then you receive your monies and then at the end of the month they bill you for those fees and you have to pay it back to eBay. I'd rather do it the way Amazon's doing it and just never even have that amount of money, you know, even get into my hands. I so much like the upfront charges or you know them taking their cut right off the top than me getting the money and then having to pay it right back at the end of the month. It's just so much easier for me as a seller because I have so many other things that I have to keep in mind it just seems like something nice that the the company decided to do to benefit the sellers next is uh, ease of use and what I mean by ease of use is mostly uh, listing and making adjustments to your listings so this brings up the Amazon seller app and the Amazon seller app is great I love using it it's so easy to use the scanner uh, the barcode scanner on it works much better than that of the eBay app and I'm certain that has to do with the fact that Amazon created this seller app specifically for sellers it's totally separate from the regular Amazon app whereas eBay has one app for both buyers and sellers so it's a little more difficult it's a lot more coding that they have to go and do in order to make everything run smoothly so Amazon can just really uh, focus on what's important to sellers and make it run so smooth that listing is as easy as scan the, the barcode of the item, hit the list button, say how many you have, 
you can put in any kind of like some kind of description like box has a dent you know it can open but not used and then just say whether you want to sell it as merchant fulfilled meaning you're going to ship it out once it sells or fulfilled by Amazon FBA which means you're going to ship it to Amazon and then once it sells Amazon will ship it then you're done depending on which route you took the last thing I'm going to mention that is a like um, that I really actually I really love that Amazon does is they offer direct deposit so like I said that Amazon has like a little bank for your seller account and every time something sells Amazon puts the money into that little bank of course they take their cut right off the top and at the end of two weeks uh, they'll pay you that money that's available there and you can choose whether you want to go directly into your bank account you do not have to use PayPal like with eBay eBay sends everything straight to PayPal and then PayPal's taking out their own little percentage for processing the payments but you can avoid that altogether and just have it directly deposited into whatever account you want it to go to uh, I so much prefer that uh, than having to use PayPal and just have even more funds taken out of the money that I've earned from selling that being said there are a few things that I uh, do not like with uh, selling on Amazon now the first one is probably the one that you've heard the most about if you watch other videos you've definitely heard about the different restrictions and gated categories brands and items which basically means you have to prove that your the items that you're selling are legitimate and that you have the right to sell them on Amazon or Amazon will not allow you to do that now I like to say there's a difference between what's gated and what's just straight up restricted gated means you can turn in like I think it's three inventories um, that shows the items that you that you're trying to sell that you either got it directly from the manufacturer or a wholesale um, seller you know, and you have to have I think it's three of those that you, that you have to submit to Amazon for review also um, you may have you know a letter or something from the manufacturer or the producer that says you have their permission to sell their items and that the items you have are legitimate and of course they do this so that people aren't selling you know bootleg DVDs and stuff like that um, through Amazon which of course is illegal so it's a way that they protect themselves and then there's those that are just straight up restricted meaning the manufacturer said we want to be the only ones who sell this on Amazon so they basically just try and shut it down for anyone else trying to sell their products whether new or used uh, probably the most recent thing that um, has been restricted is that of audio CDs I call them audio CDs but still um, you know music CDs so on and so forth that many people who have been selling these for years who would normally have been grandfathered in to still be okay to selling these have been told by Amazon they cannot sell them any longer so um, this became a category that has become restricted and there's so many people that are being affected by it that um, you know they think that I've, I've seen different videos people saying that it looks like Amazon's rolling it out little by little to cover eventually cover everyone who's selling these uh, CDs but we'll see if it if that continues to happen if it'll happen to other categories other items it could restrict who can and cannot sell on Amazon but for right now um, it's just uh, it's moving I guess fairly slowly so we can still find items out there to sell the second thing that I'm mentioning here that I just do not like that Amazon is doing is starting after June 2016 if you create a new seller account with Amazon you have to wait two weeks after whatever item that was purchased from you is delivered before the money becomes available to be paid out to you uh, it, so therefore it can actually take over a month for you to receive the payments of something that you sold and 
if you watched my previous video about uh, selling on eBay, you know that that just waiting three days after the delivery really, but you know, I really didn't like it. Two weeks now, and I've spoken to several different Amazon representatives. Every account, seller account that is created after June 2016 has this restriction. There is no graduation from this restriction, at least not yet. Uh, and from whom I've spoken with those different representatives, they said there's not really any you know, in play to come out in the near future. The only silver lining to this is that when you first create your seller account, it's randomized who can do this. But some accounts can do it, some accounts will not be able to do it. And that is request for the money to be paid out to you in between your normal scheduled uh, payment times that Amazon will pay you. Fortunately, I was given uh, the button that allows me to request the payment, so I don't have to wait the entire month before my, you know, before the item gets paid out to me, or the, the money for the item gets paid out to me. As soon as it becomes available, which means two weeks have passed since it was delivered, I can request to have that money paid into my bank account. And I understand why Amazon is doing this. I'm sure there was a moment, a time that there were a lot of untrustworthy, untrustworthy sellers on Amazon that, uh, you know, they say they were selling one thing, they will send something totally different. They would go ahead, take that money, bank it, and then the item will get returned and they'll approve the return and the refund, but they would never, you know, give that money to Amazon in order to pay for that return. That's just an assumption of mine. I can easily see that happening. And as a protection, it looks like this is what Amazon decided to do. And I totally understand it because they do have to protect their brand. If enough people have a negative, you know, ne negative, uh, reaction or you know, experience, negative experience on Amazon, they'll stop using it altogether and you know Amazon will go the way of other websites have gone. So like I said, I totally understand it, but I really don't like it. Alright, so but in order so as not to end this video on something negative, I am gonna say that selling on Amazon is good. I mean you can actually make some really good money just selling on Amazon. Um, some things you can sell on Amazon for twice, three times more than you would get it on eBay. Especially an older item, like a vintage item that's still in wrapping and box and is in perfect condition. You can really make bank on it, selling it on Amazon. Um, so I, you know, even though I don't like those things, I still find it advantageous to be selling on Amazon. Alright, so uh, reaching the end of this video, so if you have any uh, comments, concerns, or not concerns, but comments, questions, <laughs> suggestions, uh, feel free to fill them out into the comment section below, and I'll do my best to read them and, you know, respond to them as much as possible. Uh, also, you know, if you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. Let me know that, uh, you know, the content that I'm putting out uh, you're enjoying. And, you know, maybe I may, you know, if not enjoying it so much, I may change things up a little bit or, uh, you know, just more of the same uh, content. Also, if uh, you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button as well. And you'll be notified whenever I post a new video, such as uh, a haul video that uh, things that I picked up as well as what sold uh, the previous month. And I have one coming out in a little bit of what uh, sold in June of 2017. All right, and lastly, you just watched uh, this video from Flipping Goods presented by Power Up Res. I am Res, and I'm wishing you a good day, and thanks for watching.